My name is Esther Mujawai Kaina. I'm 33 years old now and I'm working here since 20 years, 20 years, 21. Uh, I, I work as a psychotherapist and I work with traumatized people, especially from Africa. Uh, I will, because I don't, I don't work with translator. I, I work directly in French, in English, or in Rwanda. I come out of Rwanda. I came to Germany in 99. I got remarried. I, I married uh, a new... My first husband was killed during the genocide in Rwanda. Uh, so later I met uh, my actual husband. And so I came with my three girls, my three daughters. So the, 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 there is one in, in, my, in, in my CV, in my Lebenslauf. There is one year that I have nothing. Oh, I have to write that I was be behind the cows. <laughs> Because they, they, uh, this was 73, 72, 73. And all the tutsis were thrown away from schools, from jobs, from uh, and uh, my my cousin, who was my friend, my friend who will be later my husband. We were we were both sent out of the the, the school, and we were taking care of the cows. We have to to take the cows in the, <laughs> in the field, and we said no, 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 no. We are not only going to take care of the cows. Please keep reading. Please keep speaking French. You, <laughs> it was in our in our way in our in the way of of a child to say no. I show you that I'm still uh, learning, even though you get me out of the out of the, the official learning process, which is school. How can I trust them despite that? How can I uh, continue to to go ahead? And I think that is also what uh, in the family, for, for me, it is very important for my, my, my daughters. They are very, very engaged. They are all over. They have to pay attention sometimes. <laughs> but I told them, no, don't, le don't let any injustice go. Because today it is just in the, the playground. It is in the school, uh, Schulhof. Uh, but tomorrow it will be more. Because this one has been mobbed because she's too dark. She's too dick, she's too maga, she's too... We, we, are, we, we can all be too something for somebody else. Uh, so to know that, don't accept that. Because when you accept it for the other one, one day it will be to you. Uh, and uh, even if you are not... Um, I'm happy that you are not the one doing it. Please, don't commit that. But also don't observe. Uh, how do you say that? Uh, those who are looking but without... Uh, without acting, or those who look away and let it let it go because it is not me, yeah. Uh, and also to have this judgment, this uh, personal judgment, to say, am I okay with that? Is it because the, the authority is telling me that I have to obey? This is another another situation. How uh, how how and when do you disobey and you don't let everything go? Everything go, yeah. So I think it is really this, um, what they call, I think, civil courage in German. Yeah, this civil courage, it is really important in schools, in families, it is, it is important to have it in order to prevent. There is another young, she's fantastic, Grace. She, she was, uh, she, she's, uh, she was, she's Hutu. So she was running to Congo with her grandma. I think I put it in the book. Oh, I know the story after. So they, they passed a woman who had been killed, but the baby was still alive and uh, taking the, taking, uh, the milk from, from the dead body. And the small Grace, who was, Grace was 13 or 14, uh, she told her grandma, hey, grandma, the baby is still alive. Let, let us take her. And the grandma said, no, 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 no. we don't take enemy with us. And Grace told her, she's a baby, she cannot be enemy. And the grandma said, no, come, come. And they went. But a few meters later, Grace said, no, she came back. She disobeyed to her grandma. She came back, she took the baby, and she took um, a piece of clothes that the ma mother was having, and she put the baby on her back. And she took, <laughs> I cry for the story, and she took her with her up to Congo. And she stayed in the camps with the, with the baby. And she has to give her names. So she called her Vanessa, but she found that Vanessa is beautiful. <laughs> a beautiful uh, uh, forename. 
And then she named her, we have always Mujawa, Esther, you have to have also Rwandan name. And then she called her Uwase. Uwase means uh, the daughter of the father. And I asked her why, and she said, you see, Vanessa is very dark, and the mother was very, very pale. So she, she thought, then she must have the color of her father. So this is why I call her Uwase. So she... <laughs> And she went in, 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 in the camps with the baby. And later on, when the camps were the destroyed, they come back with the grandma and with the baby. So she was, Grace was not, she, she was just selling vegetables in the market. And this is how she was, uh, she was making a living for her grandma and her, her daughter. And she was really buying her secondhand shoes and clothes and really like dolly for her like her baby. But then when comes the time of the, the schooling, the, the secondary school, it was too expensive and she couldn't make it. This is when she came to us, to Avega. So they told her, why don't you go to, to those widows association, to the survivors association so that they can. And this is how we came to, to know Grass and uh, Vanessa and we take care of her, of school, of the therapy and everything. But such, uh, such nice stories like, uh, 14 years old, disobeying to the grandma and saying, no, uh, she cannot be an enemy, I take her. Uh, I think it is really important. And we are, it, they are being uh, known now and uh, told now to, to encourage the young people. You see, you can uh, say no, or you can do something that the parents doesn't, don't want you to do. Uh, then from, from a small, small level, from an individual, uh, personal level, it can go, grow, grow, and be more a group. And I think this is what your, your, your Steve Tung is doing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it is possible. This is my optimistic day. 